Hello, twin. How are you today? I'm your teacher, Gabby, and today we have to see our class number five together. Are you ready? So, let me tell you that first of all, we are going to start checking the homework from last class. Okay, so look at class number four. Here you have this handout called furniture. Okay, take the handout, take your homework, take your green pen too, and let's check it. Okay, look, this is the handout. Furniture. Okay, ¿lo hicieron? Dale, agarra la tarea que la vamos a corregir todos juntos. So, in the first activity, we have to write the words. Remember, we are talking about furniture. Here we have some examples of different pieces of furniture. So, for example, number one is a sofa. Now, let me ask you, is there a sofa in your living room? Can you tell me on the chat? Is there a sofa in your living room? For example, in my living room, there isn't a sofa because it is very small. I have no room for a sofa. What about you? What about your house? Is there a sofa in your living room? Yes? Excellent. Okay, now help me with the next word, number two. What is it? Yes, it is a chair. Excellent. And pay attention to the spelling, right? We spell it C H A I R. Okay, chair. Now let me ask you is there a, sorry, are there any chairs? in your kitchen? Are there any chairs in your kitchen? Yes? How many chairs are there? Come on, write it on the chat. How many chairs are there in your kitchen? For example, in my kitchen there are four chairs. What about you? Can you tell me? All right. Now, let's correct the next word, number three. What is it? Do you know? Write it on the chat. Very good. This is a desk. D E S K. A desk. Now, let me ask you, is there a desk in your bedroom? Is there a desk in your bedroom? For example, in my bedroom, there isn't a desk. What about you? Is there a desk in your bedroom? Where is the desk in your house. In what part of the house? In the living room? In your bedroom? Where is it? Tell me on the chat. Okay, excellent. Now let's go on. Look at number four. Look at the picture. What's this? Yes, it's a fridge. Excellent. Do you remember how to spell it? F R I D G E. A fridge. Usually we find the fridge in the kitchen, right? Now, what about number five? What is it? Yes. A mirror. Excellent. And remember we spell it M I double R O R. A mirror. And let me ask you, 
How many mirrors are there in your house? In my house, there are three mirrors. One in the bathroom, one in my bedroom, and another one in the living room. What about you? How many mirrors are there in your house? Come on, tell me on the chat. One, two, three, four, five, how many? Okay, excellent. Let's go on. <clears throat> Look at number six. What's this? Yes, a shower. Excellent. We spell it S H O W E R. A shower, right? Okay. Now help me with number seven. This is very easy. What's the name of it? Right, it's a table. And this time we spell it T A B L E. A table. And then what about the last one, number eight? Okay, excellent. This is a bath. And this time we spell it B A T. Eight, a bath. Now, let me ask you one more question. In your bathroom, is there a shower or a bath? Tell me about your house. Is there a shower or a bath in your bathroom? For example, in my bathroom, there is a bath and a shower. Okay, what about you? Come on, tell me on the chat. Only a shower or a shower and a bath? Okay, excellent. Now, let's correct the next activity from the homework. Here, we have to complete the crossword and find a secret word. So, look at the numbers here. Let's start with number one. Who is she? What's her name? Do you remember? Yes, her name is Gemma. So here in number one, we write her name. G-E-M-M-A. -M -M Gemma. Great. Now, please look at number two. What's this? It's very easy. We said it before. Look, we have it here. It's a chair. So here we write the word number two. C H A I R. A chair. Help me with the next. Number three. Can you write it on the chat? Come on, what is it? Yes, very good. This is a window. W I N D O W. A window. What about number four? Come on, tell me on the chat. I want to read your answers. All right, yes, this is a bookcase. Let's write it here. B <clears throat> O O K C A S E. A bookcase. And finally, number five. What's this? Very easy again. We have it here. This is a table. So we write. T A B L E, a table. Okay, and now what's the secret word? Look at this here. Now it's very easy, right? Follow the arrow 
And here we find the word ghost. Yes, the secret word is ghost. Now let me ask you, is there a ghost in your house? Yes or no? Tell me on the chat. I hope there isn't. Okay, now let's correct, uh, sorry, let's work on the next handout. Look at today's class, class number five, handout, Jack's home. This is the activity we need to do now. A reading comprehension activity about Jack's home. ¿Ok? Entonces, vamos a leer un texto sobre la casa de un niño que se llama Jack. Jack's home. So, first, let me read the text for you. My home is very big. It's got a living room and a very big kitchen. It's got a big garden, too. There are six big bedrooms and two bathrooms. My bedroom is small. It's dark blue and has got a big white cupboard. There are lots of books and a skateboard under my bed. My favorite room is the big living room. There are two sofas and a big TV. It's cool. Okay, so here we have some information about Jack's home. Now we have to read the sentences and say if they are true or false. Okay, so we have to decide if the sentences are true or false. Okay, you can help me on the chat. Let's read number one. Jack's home isn't small. True or false? Can you write your answer on the chat? Come on. Jack's home isn't small. Yes, very good. This is true, right? Look at the text here. My home is very big. Oops, sorry. This is so thick. Let me make it thinner for you. There we go. Okay, so my home is very big. It's big, so it isn't small. This is correct. It's true. Now, number two. There's a living room and a kitchen. True or false? There's a living room and a kitchen. Yes, very good. It's true. Look at the text again. It's got a living room and a very big kitchen. Decir acá. <coughs> it has got a living room o there is a living room. Es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Es decir, lo mismo con palabras diferentes. Now, the next. The garden is big. Yes or no? Can you write it on the chat? Yes, very good. This is true. Look at the text again. Here it says, it's got a big garden. Okay, so the garden is big. Very good. Number four, Jack has got three bathrooms, bathrooms sorry, in his house. Jack has got three bathrooms in his house. Yes or no? Is this true? or false? Okay, yes, this is false. Very good. Why? How many bathrooms has he got? Not three. Three is wrong. How many bathrooms has he got? Can you find it on the text? Yes, look, two bathrooms, not three. Okay, now, Jack's bedroom is small. True or false? Come on, write it on the chat. Yes, very good. 
This is true. Look, here it says, my bedroom is small. Okay, my bedroom is small. So Jack's bedroom is small. His bedroom is white. Yes or no? True or false? What do you think? Hmm, come on, tell me on the chat. Yes, this is false. It's wrong. His bedroom isn't white. Mm -mm. What color is it? Look here, it's dark blue. Fíjense que este it que aparece acá se refiere a su habitación. Antes decía, my bedroom is small. It's dark blue. Acá habla del color, dice que es azul oscuro. So it's not white, it is dark blue. Then, there's a big cupboard in his bedroom. Yes or no? Very good. This is true. Look at the text again. Veníamos en la oración que hablaba de su habitación, dijimos. It's dark blue and has got a big white cupboard. Okay, so the cupboard is big. This is correct. There's a big cupboard in his bedroom. There are lots of books under his bed. Yes or no? There are lots of books under his bed. Is this true or false? Yes, it's true. Okay, good. It says, look, there are lots of books and a skateboard under my bed. Okay. Esta en realidad es ambigua, les digo, porque puede ser que tanto los libros como el skateboard estén debajo de la cama o que por un lado nos cuente que por un lado, perdón, que por un lado nos diga que hay muchos libros y por el otro lado diga que además hay un skateboard debajo de la cama. Es una oración que justo se puede interpretar de las dos maneras. El skateboard está seguro debajo de la cama. Ahora los libros puede que sí, puede que no. Tomémoslo como que sí, como que está todo debajo de la cama. So we write that this is true. There are lots of books under his bed. Then, his favorite room is the TV. What? No, of course not. The TV is not a room, it's not a part of the house. It's furniture, right? So this is false. What's his favorite room? Can you find it on the text? Write it on the chat. What's Jack's favorite room? What's his favorite part of the house? Yes, look here, the living room. My favorite room is the big living room. And then we have one more sentence. There are two sofas in the living room. Is, the, is this true or false? Yes, very good. This is true. We find it here. There are two sofas, exactly. Okay. So, now we are ready with this handout. We have completed all the sentences. Then you are going to continue working with the next part of the class on Zoom with your teachers. Bye-bye, twin. See you next time.